And now she's asking for a pile of pancakes. No question. Grandma, wake up! We need to make pancakes! Oh, um, I know how to do that. Grandma and Shab kneaded the dough so quickly that no one even noticed it. And now they're frying pancakes. It looks delicious, but I can do better. I'll add some food coloring to the dough. There'll be different colors. Wow, Handy decided to place the baby with something unusual. Look what a bright colored dough he has. It'll be very tasty and beautiful. <sighs> oh. oh, you're so sloppy, Andy. And in general, pancakes are best with some maple syrup and a piece of butter. What? This is a simple proven over the years recipe. Pancakes with maple syrup? This will not surprise anyone. Here's a serving of pancakes from a professional. I'll need an egg for that. This recipe is called poached egg. It is necessary to boil water in a saucepan and break the egg directly into the water. And while it's cooking, I'll take slices of ham and leaves of greens. And I'll put it all beautifully between the pancakes. <laughs> it's time for the baby to appreciate the efforts of the participants of the challenge. First from Andy. They're simply delicious, especially in combination with marshmallows. And now let's try pancakes from Grandma. They look pretty simple, however very tasty. And pancakes from the chef look unusual, but the raw yolk of a poached egg is disgusting. The baby did not appreciate it. And the victory goes to Andy. Yeah, I won! Let me fix it for you. Don't touch it, Grandma. Attention, everyone. The baby wants a juicy steak. No question. Grandma can do it. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. I'll be fine. That's it. We take it and fry it, nothing complicated. <laughs> How can you fry without oil? You need to lubricate the grill pan thoroughly. Wow. Yeah, I'm going to add oil too! Duh. Oh, Andy, don't add so much oil. And of course you should try to get oil in the pan. Now we throw a piece of meat into a frying pan and fry it. <sighs> wow! <laughs> Impressed? Come on! Absolutely! Oh, uh, I can do it too! <laughs> of course, Andy, the main thing is not to miss the frying pan! Oh, uh, I didn't miss! <sighs> oh, young man, watch and learn! By the way, my steak is almost ready! Now you can also add some salt! <laughs> cool throw! Big deal! Hey. Grandma, look, I'm going to give you a lift now! Look, ready? I'm like a real chef! No! Oh no! It fell on the floor! <laughs> yes, and it collected hair and dirt, and it's also raw and undercooked. Uh, maybe she won't notice? Oh my god. Oh, you can't serve a dish like that. I don't know what to do. I'll pour more ketchup. It'll hide all the flaws. That's it. Mm, it smells great. Oh, thank you, Mia. My steak is really beautiful. It remains to add springs and rosemary as a decoration. And that's all your decoration, Grandma? I know something better. Mia knows the secret of the famous golden steak. It'll be a real golden steak like in the most expensive restaurant. Meat should be cut with a sharp knife so as not to spoil the appearance of the steak. Oh, well, that's how it is. I didn't know it. Already. Now you can serve it. Finally, you can try the dishes. Meat with ketchup does not cause the baby's appetite. Um, just look at it. You can see the hair endured. And the golden steak. I wonder if the baby will taste it. Hmm. It seems delicious, but not impressive. Grandma's steak smells delicious. And most of all, it came to the baby's liking. Simple and no frills, but what a taste! Grandma's steak undoubtedly takes the first place! I won! Hooray! It's time to eat dessert, and the baby wants to eat… Ice cream! Oh, I know the recipe's fried ice cream. Oh, grandma can make ice cream? Okay. Nothing complicated! So what is in the recipe? You need to chop it into small pieces. Okay. Hmm. How beautiful! Now I'm going to chop it into pieces too! <laughs> Easy as pie! I like chopping ice cream! Watch your knives, young man! And don't throw food around the kitchen! Ugh, got carried away! Sorry, Grandma! 
<laughs> That's what happens when amateurs get to work. Meanwhile, I have already prepared everything. It remains to complete the dish with a beautiful serving. Nice. Everything turned out perfectly. I'll decorate the ice cream with lemon zest. The sour taste of lemon is perfectly combined with the sweetness of ice cream. Some mint lips and some smoke of dry ice. This is how ice cream is served in the most refined restaurants. Awesome. Just look at this. Incredible. <laughs> wow. Grandma also prepared everything. Cut and twist. Um, uh, it's not really working out. The ice cream stuck. Okay, let's just put some chocolate syrup on top. No. <laughs> That's funny. I'm almost done too. Nothing complicated. <laughs> now I'll put in a bowl and decorate it with whipped cream. I love it. I'll have much more for the baby. And now I'll sprinkle some Rainbow Skittles candies, a sugar straw for beauty, and some Oreo cookies. Please. Grandma, will you let me? Okay. Oh, thank you. Now we're going to pour oh chocolate God. syrup. Oh, yeah. so much sugar. Oh, yeah. Let's see what the baby <laughs> thinks. The colored ice cream from my brother looks incredibly beautiful. <laughs> But the gorgeous presentation from the chef struck the baby more. Time to try it. A oh, lemon says is too sour. Ice cream slices and chocolate syrup looks unappetizing, but it tastes nothing unusual. Finally, it's time to try the ice cream from the brother. Whipped cream, sugar straws, and Skittles. Incredibly delicious combination. And the winner is… Brother. Yeah! I knew it! Grandma, let me hug you! Everyone concentrate, oh. we continue our culinary duel. The next request is a croissant. The French really like to eat croissants with coffee for breakfast. Oh, Grandma, are you from France? Do you know how to cook croissants? Grandma knows everything. They can be put in the oven and let's wait for it to cook. Ah, I can do that too! One second and let's bake! Hmm, well done, yeah. grandson. I don't approve of frozen dough. Cooking it yourself is not so difficult. By the way, our chef Mia has worked in the best restaurants in Paris and knows the oldest recipe for croissants. According to the recipe, dishes were prepared for Louis himself, the king of France. Therefore, the baby is waiting for a truly royal dessert. And the brother and grandmother watch the chef actions in amazement. How devilish she kneaded the dough, laid it out in layers, and twisted it. What a skill! It remains only to put it in the oven and wait. I won't be able to cook so cool, but I'll add Nutella to my croissants. Oh, my favorite chocolate nut paste. Mmm, delicious. Oh, what kind of manners. It's time to get their croissants. Mmm, how wonderful and rosy. Andy? Look! You're on fire! Oh no! Not that! The brother got carried away with Nutella and his croissants burned down. Yes, the chocolate paste is really very tasty. Don't worry, you're doing great. Yeah, croissants are baked. It's time to start serving. I need an incision and you can pour out prepared cream. I'll add strawberries and I'll decorate the dish with powdered sugar on top. Voila! Everything is ready. Now we can try it. Burn croissants from the brother look terrible. Yeah, it's not worth trying them. Oh, what a smell! Croissants from grandma are delicious, sweet, and so nice. Our baby really liked it. Wow, strawberry sweet cream and delicious dough made according to the royal recipe. Without a doubt, croissants from the chef take the first place. Oh, thank you. I knew that. You want? The baby wants French fries. Nothing complicated. We'll do everything. I know the recipe. It seems that you need to pour oil. I'll pour more. It'll be fatter and tastier. So for sure, everything will fry well. I'll fill up the whole pan with some oil. Let's turn it on and let's start. I'll use the whole pack because there are never too many of the french fries. Hey. Granddaughter, what are you doing? Oh, it's burning! We need to put out the fire quickly! Oh no, 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 no! It's not like the recipe on YouTube! Almost burned down the kitchen and all of us! Oh. Better learn from grandma! Now grandma will show you how to do it! We'll take quite a bit of oil, turn down the heat a little, and put the potatoes in. So it'll be perfect! 
I'll toss it around and put it on a plate. What? Oh, how well it turned out. It's all for my granddaughter. It remains to add the most delicious ketchup. French fries and ketchup are the perfect combination. My granddaughter will definitely like it. And how many calories are in this dish? I'll show you how it should be. We get rid of excess oil. Then we wrap the potatoes in a piece of fragrant bacon and twist the roll. Just like that. Add a drop of cranberry gluten-free jam from Duro's on top. Just like that. And add some rosemary on top. The masterpiece is ready. Bingo! I've come up with something better. Banana marshmallow trolley is so similar to potatoes. And if you add Hershey's strawberry mm -hmm. syrup, it'll be just like potatoes with ketchup. But it tastes so sweet. That's what my little sister will really like. <laughs> Finally, everything is ready. And the baby has already been waiting for her food. The dish from my grandmother was the first to attract attention. Classic french fries and ketchup. It looks really delicious. The baby obviously liked it. I wonder how she would like a dish for real gourmets. The chef took an unusual recipe, but it was not appreciated. And there was a gift from my sister. It looks like potatoes and ketchup, but this… Yes! It's a sweet marshmallow with strawberry sauce. Deep and eat. Hmm. It remains to choose the winner. A dish from grandma. Yes, I won! Oh, it hurts. What will the baby want to eat now? Oh, she wants to eat sushi! What is this? I don't know how to cook it. Show grandma what to do. First, you need to boil the rice in a special way. I'll do it. Grandma knows how to cook rice. Ah, <laughs> uh, sushi with nasty seaweed. I'd rather do something sweet again. Or sweet and sour. Let's take the sweet and sour tongues. Add whipped cream instead of sauce. Rub a marmalade eye and a few marmalades from Haribo. How big and colorful they turn out. Have you ever seen sushi like that? This is just absolutely perfect. <laughs> Now you need to take a sheet of nori and cut it in half. It's all dry, it's breaking! How did you do that? Because I'm a professional, Grandma. I'm gonna cut some fish. Perfect slices. Put some rice on the mat. And some nori. I twist it with the mat. Put some fish on top. Cut it. And that's it. Classic Philadelphia roll with ginger and wasabi is ready. <laughs> Granny can make these rolls of yours. They don't keep their shape. Bingo! I have an idea. I'm just gonna cut some cucumbers. Get rid of the center and put rice in it. Perfect. <laughs> now it's time for the baby to try it. Let's start with these. Sushi from the chef look perfect. And it tastes incredible. What a big and bright roll. And very, very tasty. So delicious that she immediately chose them as the winner. This time, a sweet gift from my sister overcame everyone. Oh, you haven't tried mine. Hey, Grandma, wake up. The granddaughter wants something delicious again. She wants to drink a chocolate cocktail for dessert. This is my favorite recipe. We'll need some ice cubes. I'll pour more chocolate sauce into the jar. Starbucks milk chocolate to the brim. And I'll create some milk foam with a hand mixer. Oh, um, sorry, Grandma. You got too close. What is this bag in Grandma's hands? Instant coffee three in one? Is she really going to give this to her granddaughter? Yeah, but it seems that grandma herself likes it. Now add the whipped cream. I often cook myself such a recipe. By the way, don't forget about yourself. Sprinkle the Oreo cookie crumbs on top. Put the cookie on. 
Such a cocktail should be drunk through a straw. That's it! The perfect chocolate milkshake! Who cooks it like that? That's a horror! I have made coffee sweet drinks more than once. We need fresh coffee beans. I measure everything to the gram. I grind the grains into fine crumbs. Then I brew it in French press. The coffee will be perfect. Pour it into the cup. And adding some milk. I'm gonna create some foam out of it. I certainly won't spray anyone because I'm a professional. And the snowflake decoration. Perfect. Oh my! It's time to try the drinks. The hand itself reaches for a beautiful glass. It's a wonderful cocktail. Also delicious cookies on top. It's perfect! Hmm. What cannot be said about the instant coffee? Grandma wanted to poison her granddaughter! It's impossible to drink. Oh. Coffee foam from the chef with a pleasant aroma. But the hmm. taste is nothing unusual. The baby chooses the beautiful cocktail. Yes, keep it up, sis. You've won again. The next task is for you to drum roll make some waffles. Okay. What? What is it? And I know the recipe. Break the eggs. Add sugar. You can have more so the waffles will taste even better. And get in the way, get in the way, get in the way. Oh, I'm tired of doing that. Perhaps that's enough. And now we can add some flour. How much is needed? Oh, uh, Grandma, I'm sorry, I got you dirty again. More flour, more waffles. Uh, maybe you don't need so much flour. I'll put the axes back. It won't work out that way. But you will definitely like my old grandmother's proven recipe. The dough came out perfect. <laughs> Here! Now you can pour the dough into the waffle iron. And I'm almost done too. Perfect rosy waffles will come soon. <laughs> what are you feeding the baby? No. It is necessary to eat healthy food. Oh. We won't need sugar. <laughs> we better take zucchini. Perfect. Now we're gonna add some eggs. Put flour. And we're gonna create some dough. I'll do it quickly with a mixer. How ugly it looks! And let's try our super healthy waffles. <sighs> They're almost done! Yummy! Perfect! I'll put it on a plate. Add some strawberry whipped cream and berries. I love how it turned out. And I'm gonna put some traditional maple syrup. Pour it all over. Oh and a piece of butter. <laughs> Lovely. Oh my. Oh, the waffles are done. Green is the color of health. There's not enough beauty in this presentation. I'll make the count's rooms and more greenery on top. Bellissimo. <laughs> oh, she's back with her proper nutrition. Here, granddaughter. These waffles look exactly like she wanted them to. But was it this unusual feeling? <gasps> An eggshell! You have to be careful when you cook. And what is this green color? Grass on top again? Steal a piece is worth a try. A very small one. <laughs> it smells good. But that still tastes disgusting. What to expect from these waffles? Wow, it seems that the baby really liked them. Here's the winner. Hooray, they're mine! I did it! Wow, what a huge stack of puppets! Strange, but I think mine is broken. I can't press the button. And now, what are you going to do? What? Phoebe, stop sniffing that. You can't eat that. Mm, you're wrong. My puppet is made out of gummies and it's delicious. Wow! wow what a stroke of luck! Well, there's not much left. I did it quickly. What are you looking at? Now you! Maybe my poppies are also gummies. It doesn't look like they're too tough. It's chocolate! I was even luckier than I expected. 
My favorite white chocolate with sweets inside is an incredible combination. I wish I could try it. You've got it right, Phoebe. I'm not going to share. What? Mia, you've got paint all over your face. Big deal. I can fix it quickly. Yes! Come on! Well, that's better. It's just me, and that's great news. I wonder what puppets are made out of. Gummies or chocolate? Doesn't look like… either, actually. These are real puppets! Cool, we can play! Gosh, how comforting it is! It definitely won't hurt me right now. Wow, chips! This is great news! But why does each of us have only one jar? Don't know. I think we should try anyway. What's up, Phoebe? I don't understand yet. The chips flew right into your eyes. That's hilarious. I don't see anything funny about it. I thought the jar was empty. It's good that you can at least have a little snack. Well, that's it. I'm refreshed. It's time to check what's in my jar. I hope there's a big portion. Let's take a look. Can't be. This jar has no bottom. There are no chips in it either. Danny, look at the table. There they are. How could I miss them? Well, in my opinion, there is a whole dozen here, and it's definitely better than one chip. Congratulations! Um, what's wrong with you? I must have inhaled the seasoning. I really want to sneeze. Mm, now we can start. <laughs> well, I'm starting again. You blew away all your chips. Oh no, Mia, don't repeat my mistakes. Believe me, I know how to handle food. Wow, how many chips? They all don't end. There's a whole hundred in the stack, wow. Um, do you mind if I try? Of course I mind, don't come near my food. I can't do fine on my own without your help. Unbelievable, how did all of this fit into you? I'm capable of way more. Looks like someone choked. It's time to save Mia. Wait a second, I'm already rushing to help. Oh, thanks a lot, Danny. You're a true friend. But what's wrong with this go? Why is it gushing in different directions? What a nightmare I'm all wet. I don't even know what how it happened. How many Kit Kats? I wouldn't say there are a lot of them. Only 10 pieces. Not bad. And Phoebe only has one. A loser. And I'm sure it's the most delicious one of all. Be careful. There's no need to throw wrappers at me. Oh, what a thick layer of chocolate. That's great. I just love the waffles. You threw crumbs at us. Sorry. It came out completely by accident. Well, I remember it for you later. <laughs> Some other time, and now Mia needs to do her chocolates. In my opinion, this is a great idea. Wow, how cleverly and quickly you got rid of the wrappers. Cool. They're absolutely useless. I'm only interested in chocolate. It looks like you can't cut it with a fork and a knife, so I can't do it with them. I'm sure it can do it. What a taste. This is something incredible. There's no stopping me. They're the best bars in the world. Where have you good manners gone, Mia? You don't look like yourself. One bar fell. Take it away fast. I won't want to get you into a hot hand. No. You're not afraid for nothing, Danny. Anyone who tries to take my food should be afraid of punishment. Danny, come to your senses. You have to eat a hundred more chocolate bars. Mm. Phoebe is right. Get started. It just can't be like this. We need a special approach. Is that a builder's suit? Thank you. I decided to build something grand. You'll never see such a structure before. It looks really incredible. I'm going to need a ladder to get to the top. Done. Holy moly! It was the last swift break. Don't even ask me to get off. It's really cool here. If you don't want to, as you wish. It's even better for us. I'm sorry, Danny, but your construction no, 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 is ruined. Oh no, what have you done? I tried so hard. There was no other option. We had to take this step for the sake of chocolate. And we don't regret anything. It was worth it. 
When else will there be a chance to eat so many sweets? <laughs> Here I am. I hope you didn't miss me. I feel dizzy. It's good that I put on a helmet. <laughs> How funny you are. Oh. Finally, I have the biggest portion. A hundred chocolates at once. How much did you get? Danny only has one. It's just ridiculous. I don't think so. In my opinion, there is nothing funny about it. Look, there are several chewing gums in this package at once. It's just great. Mia, I'm sorry. I didn't think I'd hit you. Well, let's get started. Now I'll show you how real gum fans work. It would be great if they didn't throw garbage everywhere. You're so vindictive. You should have hit me. What are you doing, daddy? It looks weird. But it's very convenient. A couple of seconds and I've already pulled all the candy in my mouth. And now look what bubbles I can inflate. Wow! You should be working in circus! I hope that's a compliment. If so, thank you, Mia. Bravo, it was great. Now it's Mia's turn. Wow! You took off the wrappers again at once! Cool! The tricks are easy for me, and I can also suck gum into my mouth like a vacuum cleaner. Wow, what a big bubble. I think it's time to burst it. I'm sorry, Mia, but I can't help myself. No! What have you done, Danny? I can't see anything! It's probably because the gum is splattered all over my face. There seems to be something wrong with me! We need to put them back into place right now! It's not very pleasant to watch this. I don't care, it's your fault! But now I'm fine! It's time for me to work with my jaws. Careful, Phoebe, so we can break the table. I didn't calculate my strength a little. I was in a hurry to remove the wrappers. I'm so sorry. Do you have a rubber mouth? How does so much food fit in? Come on, it's nothing. Nothing complicated. Phoebe, where are you going? Stop! I've got you. Danny, it's no use. Her balloon turned out to be very big. There's a way out. You need to shoot a slingshot and burst the bubble. Well, it's not a bad idea. I think I can do it. Hmm. Well, you missed! Let me give it a try. Are you sure? My bubble has burst! It worked, but now it's falling! Oh, try to catch it. Well, you failed again! Sorry, I tried my best. Oh, thank you. 